Welcome back to another unboxing video on my channel and today I have again another pair of Jordans. These are the Jordan Point Lane but before I continue with the video I just want to point something out below this video it says subscribe click on that button hit the bell icon and watch some magic happen. Now back over here we have a black box with the Jordan logo on it again it's in gold black and gold my favorite combination other than that the box is a bit boring so let's just get on with the unboxing. So here they are guys, just have a look at these from the front, the side and the back. Now let's jump to the underside of the trainer. Now this is not a very familiar sight from the trainers that we've seen before. You've got the Nike logo here, you've got the Jordan logo here. The materials used here are a bit different. You've got the normal black here, but this here is a see-through material and I think it looks quite cool. You can see through and there's like a white material at the bottom, but this itself is not exactly see-through clear. It's a see-through blue. And another thing that I've noticed is this right here there's these rings around here now this remind me of those old trainers that they used to be those nike total 90 trainers and one more thing about this trainer is that the lack of grip on the underside and now i say lack of grip is because i'm comparing them to the stay loyal and the one take four which had more grip if you've not seen those videos just check my channel out you'll see that i've also shown and reviewed those two trainers as well also down here we have this crease area again like i've mentioned in my previous videos if you get any dirt in there it is a hassle to clean so it's best to avoid getting into muddy areas or into dirty areas where you can get stubborn dirt stuck in here and especially with the nike writing here there's more holes for it to get stuck in so when you're cleaning it it will take longer now coming to the outer side of the trainer you've got the big bubble here which has three holes and you can see right through to the side if i just put my fingers there you can see that now the color combination is really nice you've got this black again this is a suede material and there's quite a lot of it being used all around the trainer suede material looks really nice but when it gets dirty it is a hassle so look after these trainers here you have plastic which is in again like i said before it looks orange to me but it's called infrared now the only issue i have with this trainer don't get me wrong it looks really really nice the only issue i have with this trainer is that it screams more nike to me than jordan i mean you have the jordan logo here but you have Air Max here and other than that there is nothing different to a normal Air Max trainer that sticks out for me which would say that these are Jordans. If you look at the back you've got Nike Air written there but again there's no Jordan logo or there's no writing for Jordan. Now coming to the front of the trainer this is where I have an issue. To me these look like standard Nike trainers, standard Adidas trainers, standard Puma trainers. Nothing here screams out to me that these are Jordans. Now I say that because from experience Jordan trainers normally especially at the front area here they are quite funky in their design you'll have something on here which looks a bit out of place but it's not out of place it's just Jordan's design the way they do it and for me this trainer doesn't really scream out Jordan it screams out Nike more than anything and coming up here when you look at the laces these are standard laces they're just threaded in and you've got the standard holes up here you've got the Jordan logo but it could have been in the red color which would make it stick out more but it's in black you can barely see it definitely won't be noticeable once you're wearing them that being said these trainers are very light trainers and they look very very comfortable now i just want to quickly mention about this area here there's a lot of cushioning here and it does look like it is very very comfortable and i really like that and i'm hoping when i wear these these hook around my feet nicely and they are comfortable and by looking at these what i feel is that when i wear these this trainer is really going to wrap around my foot and because they are lightweight it's going to be very very nice to walk in and with those two combinations i think it's probably the best thing you can wish for in a trainer so now i'll go and try these on and see how they are so i've worn these trainers for a short while i've had a quick stroll around inside the house and i just want to mention a few stuff when i put my foot in here these trainers were very comfortable the inside cushioning was quite good i felt it it was quite bouncy the trainer looks like it hooks around your foot and it actually does when you put your foot in it does now that being said, the complaint I have about this trainer is this hard material used on the outer side. When you're walking, there's not much bending going on. And that is a problem. Because when you're walking, you want it to bend slightly so your foot is comfortable in its motion. But because it doesn't bend as easily, it kind of feels as though you've got something heavy on your foot. Now, I am hoping over time that once you break into these, that, that is no longer the issue. But from what I have experienced, it looks like it will take a while to break into these. I give these trainers a 7.5 out of 10. Now, 
They are very comfortable. They have a lot of cushioning on the inside. They look very nice, but they've got this suede material all around them, which for me personally, if it gets dirty, it's hard to clean. And the other complaint that I have is that these don't look like Jordans, in my opinion. They look more like Nike Air Max trainers, the standard Nike Air trainers. And from the front, they look like any other trainer that you can buy from the store. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.